Hi guys, it's Theo here. This year I graduated from Cambridge and then I moved to Vienna where I'm at right now to do a master's in international studies. I did a lot of vlogs back in Cambridge but my life here is very very different from my life in Cambridge so that's why I want to do another day in my life at the academy, at the diplomatic academy where I am studying. Before doing this video I actually searched a bit on YouTube to see whether anyone else had done a vlog at the diplomatic academy and apparently this is the first one and I really hope that it will actually help future or prospective students in their decision to come here. So today is Wednesday and it's a busy day which is why I chose it to do my day in my life today. So today I've got a history class and a career stock and a French class later in the evening. Classes here compared to the one hour classes at Cambridge are two hours long and they're lectures this term because they've only got the core courses. Uh, I have to sit through it, there is a break in between. During the break I also have to go and get my cards for the canteen for the buttery. I really hope I can make it but first I really need to get to the academy on time. Vienna is a big city, it's no longer like Cambridge where we can wake up five minutes before class and then just be at the lecture hall in two minutes. So basically here I'm 15 minutes away from the academy and I've really got to go now so I'll uh, talk to you later. <laughs> So we've got to wear a mask inside at all times now because the measures in Austria have been uh, made stricter. But I'm very happy that during the break from the history class I could get the lunch cards and uh, we're gonna have lunch at the canteen today. That's really nice. <music> I'm now out of the history class and the career talk. In the history class we talked about the period after 1848 and how the Concert of Europe established in 1815 and the Congress of Vienna was basically destroyed in the second half of the 19th century and especially uh, because of uh, Napoleon III and the Crimean War. And um, in the career talk they uh, talked a lot about uh, working in communication for the EU and uh, it was uh, really interesting because he touched on a lot of topics like Twitter and Instagram and how uh, these big institutions are transitioning to uh, where the people are at, which is basically more Instagram. Uh, probably not uh, going to do TikTok, he said, but they used to be on Twitter a lot and now they're doing what they call Insta-tweeting. Uh, yeah, that's uh, what we talked about. I'm now going to the buttery to have lunch and I'm really looking forward to that because it was a busy morning and I really want to have something to eat. I'll catch up with you a bit later. <laughs> So I'm now back home after lunch. Before I said that studying at the DA is very different from studying at Cambridge and that's not in a bad way. Actually a lot of the way it's organized resembles the UK and the Cambridge system a lot more than the Austrian system. It's also split in three terms which is also a very Cambridge-y thing and I love that it feels very familiar but at the same time the courses and the lectures have very different expectations of us in terms of uh, studying during the terms. So because there are no one-on-one -on -one supervisions here, that means that I don't have to write essays every week. This is a relief on the one hand. On the other hand, it's quite difficult to keep on top of the reading list that is required for of us for the exams because making time for reading has to come out of our own internal motivation. And unless we're good at building that accountability with our own selves or creating like study groups to study with friends and build accountability that way based on uh, interactions with our peers. It's very very difficult to get through all the reading lists which are actually huge and to be honest most professors expect us to read most of those things that are on the reading list and 
uh, for example, for history, we've got this huge book about uh, European history since Napoleon, and then Henry Kissinger's diplomacy as well. And there's also a reader that I was crazy enough to print out in its entirety, and it contains loads of texts about uh, the same period, but viewed from various different angles. And for all of the five core courses, I've got similar reading lists, and uh, of course, for some texts, I only have the time to skim through them and uh, make sense of the context before the lecture. For others, I dedicate more time and uh, catch up at the weekends. So the five core courses that I've got are history, which is actually called the development of the international system, and it starts at 1789 with the French Revolution. Then I've got principles of economics, international law, EU law, and also uh, political science scopes and methods. I think the most exciting of them are probably political science and uh, international law. These subjects are completely new to me, but they explain so much of what I had wished I'd known before. And of course, the political science course is also interesting because it gives us hints as to which direction we could take our master's thesis in next year. Okay, so I've now got to go out again. I've got to buy some more of these elegant sweaters because in Vienna it can get really cold and it's already getting quite cold and also it's nice to dress up nicely for the Diplomatic Academy. Also, I've got to find a place to do my French homework before the French class starts at 6.15pm uh, and then in the evening, I'll go to the Viennale and see a Romanian film because uh, they always show Romanian films there at the Vienna Film Festival and I'm curious to see what uh, this year's film productions from Romania are actually like. People with me. They see me. Get me because I'm clean. I'm in the dressing room now, I got the DA mask out, I finally found it and it's nice to feature it in this video. And also I chose two sweaters, it's this ochre one and the blue one as well. And I really like them, I think uh, they're basic, they go well with uh, white shirts, that's all that matters really. I'm gonna go and pay for these and then find a place to do my French homework before the French class. Uh, besides my core courses, I haven't told you, I'm taking French and Arabic in the afternoons. So um, that's how I'm spending my free time, I guess. <laughs> so I got the two sweaters, check, and now I'm back home with Alexandra. We ended up coming back to do our language homeworks. She is doing her Russian homework, I'm doing my French homework. Uh, I've got about one hour to go until I have to get back to the DA for, for the French class. In the meantime, I'll make some coffee. I know it's bad because it's past 4 p.m., but we're also going to the film later tonight, so we need something to keep us awake. And then we'll go right back to the language homeworks. So I've just come back from French class and it went well, but they announced us that beginning next week it's all going to be on Zoom and this is really bad for language classes as you can imagine, but I think the whole country is preparing for a new lockdown. So basically starting next week most of our courses are going to be on Zoom, they will look nothing like today, otherwise I'll just start making vlogs about a day in my room, attending Zoom classes and shopping online for new pyjamas every day. Now I've already had a bite to eat and and it's time to run to the cinema because the film is starting. C'est pourquoi ainsi que l'a fait remarquer son excellence. I'm now going home and as much as this film made me want to read a lot in the coming months and dedicate more time to reading, I think that tonight I'll actually just go to sleep and leave everything else for tomorrow. Thanks for watching this vlog, I hope you enjoyed it, I hope you found it entertaining, if not uh, helpful as well. 
and um, make sure to check out all my other videos I'm publishing every week. This has been a day in my life at the Diplomatic Academy of Vienna and I'll catch you in my next one. Bye bye.